Hey everyone, so this will be an update to my Pyrodarium. This is the Zoom Med 18x18x36, so this is the big guy. This one holds 10 gallons of water on the bottom. Um, so I'm going to start with the top and I will show off everything I have and what has changed and whatnot uh, since my other video, which was quite some time ago. I think that was when I first set it up here. So up top here, so this is all the same. I still have my Aquion OptiBrights. Uh, it says white, blue, and then RGB. I keep all three of them on. They're actually on a timer, which is really cool. This I don't keep on all the time. Uh, I probably should keep it on more than I do. Uh, this is the uh, UVB bulb. Actually, I should probably keep that more for my plants. Uh, but what I have in here does not really need it, besides from the plants a little bit. Uh, but they also get some sunlight from the window that's across the room. All right, so now I have a whole bunch of silk plants in here, which I had before. I know they're not real, but they do look nice. Uh, and they're not going to hurt my animals that are in here. Uh, then we have this big this big guy in the middle here that is just another, of course, fake plant. That was supposed to have water running through it. And, well, it just didn't work out. The pump wasn't strong enough. Uh, eventually, I'll probably buy another pump uh, and maybe redo this. But right now, it just kind of looks nice. Then I have a couple of, I never remember the name, broma, bromial lids, something like that. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but I got three of those. These are all real, and one in the back there. And they're doing okay. This one is dying, as you see here. There's like a few dead leaves. Otherwise, they seem to be doing okay. Um, so I do miss this tank down two, three times a day or more, and I miss the living daylights of it, uh, which I think helps. And then I do have the lights on for quite a bit. Again, sunlight from across the room. And um, we got a couple big giant pieces of cork, multiple spots here. In the center here, what is now dead, and I need to eventually remove. Um, and see that the, down there is a dead leaf. That is, or was, a living plant. Now it is dead. Uh, it wasn't orchid, sadly. It made it for a little while, then it just kind of died. Um, bottom here, I have moss, which I probably need to redo some of. I had a couple of other live plants, they just did not make it. I think that humidity was just too much for them. Uh, again, I'm missing the crap out of it, and then I do have the 10 gallons of water, almost 10 gallons of water, on the bottom there. Uh, so I think it's just too much humidity for the other plants I had. The bromial lids, bromelides, however you say that, they seem to like it. Uh, they are more of a humidity-loving plant, um, so so they're doing better than my other plants did. So I think I'm going to buy some more of those once I find them. Uh, so again, then I had moss, which is doing eh. It's kind of dying off too, but it's not horrible. And then I got two mossy frogs. Uh, so I got one there. And we got one here. They are very cool. Here we go. Oh yeah, they're very awesome little dudes. I uh, feed them crickets. Put crickets in here every few days. And uh, they pretty much just sit there. I mean, like a frog does. Uh, and they tend to move around a bit more. But a lot of times they'll be actually sitting on this vine halfway in the water here or they'll be sitting on the piece of wood and just doing the same thing or they'll be sitting on the glass doing the same thing uh, most of the time though they're near the water uh, they are semi-aquatic so they can actually swim a little bit uh, it's actually pretty cool but if i accidentally scare them i don't mean to do it on purpose sometimes if i go in there just go near them they kind of jump off they'll go into the water dive and swim to the back of the tank and then hide uh, it's really cool and they also sit back here sometimes. Sorry about the glare there. Uh, they do sit in the water, halfway in the water at times too. And I of course still have my crusty gecko. See his head just sticking out there. Uh, he's my little buddy. He's the one I've had since the beginning. And then that is his food. I'm not sure if the mossies eat that as well. Uh, one of the first few nights I had the mosses in here, I put in brand new of this food. And the next day the entire thing was gone. Where normally it takes them a few days to even eat like half of it. Uh, so I don't know if the mosses are eating it or not. They usually don't eat it, but I don't know. Uh, so bottom here is where probably the biggest change is going to be. So I added in live plants. Uh, so I had one down there, and I added in these. They just kind of float there. Uh, that one's just a leaf. It kind of fell in. That was from the orchid. Uh, I need to actually remove that now. Uh, it was actually doing okay in the water. It's kind of weird. It's actually kind of doing better in the water than it was on top. Um, yeah, but all the fish were loving it. It was sitting up here, and the betas were just loving it. They were actually laying on top of it. It was really cool. All right, so all my fish love these vines, or these uh, 
the roots. As you can see, they're all kind of swimming in and out of them. Uh, so what I have down here is, uh, I don't know how many guppies I have, but a bunch of guppies. I'm really sorry about the glare. I wish it wasn't there. Uh, good rhyme. Uh, I got four female betas. I got the white one with the red dot. I have this pretty blue, the nice red. And then there is the one I actually had for a long time. I uh, was at one point a baby. Of course, she was a baby at one point. Uh, but I had her as a baby. Uh, and I had her in a tank, and I put her in here with these, and they always seem to be doing okay. Uh, yep, yeah, there she is. She's dark, and she's hard to see in this tank because it's not very lit up. Uh, so, yeah, so I have the four of them here. Uh, a whole bunch of guppies. Then I also have the white clouds. See right there? Uh, which I might eventually remove. I need, do need to remove some of the guppies. They're just overcrowding uh, the tank a bit. Uh, so this is only 10 gallons, but it is 10 gallons, which is pretty cool for a polydarium uh, IMO. Um, yeah, then we got, I think that's Anubis. I'm horrible with plant names. This, I don't even know what the name of it is. I just know that it looks awesome and it does good in my tank. Uh, I know that's not really the best thing to do, but um, I know it wasn't that very hard thing to take care of. Uh, according to the fish store. Uh, horrible with plants, good with fish. Then I got the moss on the vine, which is from Petco. I've had that in here for since the beginning, I believe. Uh, we got some wood. I'm really sorry about the glare. It's really annoying me. Uh, I got hide, and there's an actual moss ball in the back as well. I'll give you a closer look at mossy frog. See how cool they are. They're just one of the coolest frogs. They look like moss and they do blend in quite well. Uh, they were actually in moss or something green. Uh, so they still like on a plant or something. Sometimes I don't even know they're there. I'm gonna go ahead and feed my fish. On the bottom here. Uh, nighttime I will be feeding the frogs, uh, the crickets, uh, since they are actually nocturnal. So I don't really do much during the day. That's the whole bunch of New like spectrum pellets in here, and they all seem to leave it. And of course, I always try to make sure that my bears get some because they're not the quickest of fish to find food uh, compared to like the guppies and especially the white clouds, who are very, very dirty. It is not so dirty. All right, yeah, so that's just an update here. Uh, sorry about the glare. Hopefully, you guys cannot hear the noise from outside. Uh, I'm sorry if you did. Uh, of course, I'd be mowing the lawn. Um, but I won't be able to make a video for a while. Or just a few days, so. All right, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully, you guys have a good day. Uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.